Japan is known, of course, for its innovative technology, intriguing culture, and stunning beauty. In May, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and the beautiful prefecture of Mia will proudly host the 2016 G7 Summit, a gathering together of world leaders from France, Germany, the United Kingdom, Italy, the United States, Canada, and Japan. Over the next few programs, we'll explore three different areas of the country, all featuring, in their own unique manner, Japan's history, values, and way of life. On this program, This is America and the World visits the prefecture of Aichi in Japan. This is America and the World is brought to you by the National Education Association, the U.S. China Education Trust, and F. Y. Chang Foundation, guided by Ambassador Julia Chang Block, President. The League of Arab States, representing 350 million people in 22 member countries. Tourism, Malaysia. The Petrolin Group, expertise with integrity in the fields of oil and gas, exploration and production, energy and infrastructure. The Rotondaro Family Trust. The Embassy Series, uniting people through musical diplomacy, presenting international artists in diplomatic settings. And Ventana Productions, television facilities, editing and distribution services. We visited Toyota in the city of Toyota to learn about the company's cutting edge fuel cell car, which uses hydrogen and oxygen to power the vehicle. I spoke with the chief engineer and visited the assembly line. The car, it's called the Mirai, is a shining example of Japanese innovation at its very best. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. So here we are in 2016, and we have a fuel cell car. What is a fuel cell? A fuel cell car is a car that runs on hydrogen as fuel. But it's not that it burns hydrogen. It's different from an internal combustion engine. It produces electricity through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, and the electricity drives the motor to move the car. What are the benefits of having hydrogen and oxygen power the car? One benefit is that hydrogen is an abundant source of energy. By abundant, I mean that the element hydrogen is the most abundant chemical element in the universe and on the Earth, so it is found in great abundance. And when it's used in a car, compared to electricity, it has a high energy density per unit volume. It has a very high energy density, and compared to electricity, charging time is short. So, in that sense, it's a very useful fuel for cars. Where does the hydrogen come from? Hydrogen can be made from many things. For example, water can be broken down to make it, and natural gas can be reformed to make it. Where does the oxygen come from? Oxygen is extremely abundant in the air, so it can be drawn in and used. What's going on inside the fuel cell? Is that where the chemistry happens? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Are there cars like this on the road today? Are they sold, these cars, these fuel cell cars? Yes. In Japan, sales started in December of 2014. In the U.S., sales began in October of last year. So both in Japan and in the U.S.? Yes. Is this car very expensive? This car cost $57,500 in the U.S. Is there a waiting list for the car? A lot of people are waiting for this car. However, we can't make more than about 10 cars per day. How is fuel cell different from, say, Prius? This one is a hybrid, combining a fuel cell and a secondary battery. So instead of the engine that Prius has, it has a fuel cell. That's the big difference. No engine. No engine, no engine.
No engine, but the secondary battery is the same. How about uh, CO2 emissions? The only emission while this car is running is water. Emission is only water. No carbon? No, no, no carbon. Whoa! What else should we know about the car? The electricity that is generated can be supplied outside the car as well. So in a blackout or a natural disaster, it can be used as an emergency power source for other devices. When they need some uh, 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 hydrogen, where do they go to get the hydrogen? Hydrogen can be charged at a hydrogen station. A hydrogen station? Yes. In some cases, they are set up at the gas stations, and some of them are standalone. There are a lot of possibilities. If you uh, get a, a full tank of hydrogen, how far can you drive? Under the EPA label, 312 miles. Have you driven one of these cars? Yes. How does it feel? It's very responsive, with good torque. It has a low center of gravity, and it's very well balanced front to back. So it has a midship layout and good weight balance, and it's extremely fun to drive. How many years have you been working on this car? I, myself, four years. Yes, but Toyota Motor Corporation, the project, was started 23 years ago. And you are the chief engineer? Yes. I am the coordinator with final responsibility for this car. So this is your baby? Yes. Huh? My baby. Your baby? Yes. So you must be very proud? Yes. Very proud. Very proud. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. Thank you. So much. Thank you for our visit. Thank, thank you very you. much. And thank you for explaining the car to me. Thank you. Thank you. Nagoya Castle wonderfully displays Japan's rich history. The castle was originally built in 1612 by the shogun Tokugawa, the ruler of Japan at the time. An actor in the role of the shogun offered us some history and led tourists in Hello, America. Isa! Hello, America! Who are you? I am the first shogun of Edo shogunate, Tokugawa Ieyasu. You can just call me shogun. Shogun? Yes. What is the responsibility, the duties, the position of shogun? Well, I used to govern the country and for four centuries uh, back, 400 years ago. But nowadays, uh, we and myself promote the city of Nagoya and the uh, country of Japan. Is there a difference between shogun and samurai? Yes, all the samurais work for the shogun. Oh, they were the warriors. Exactly. Samurais, shogun. But you are the boss. You are the exactly. king, huh? Yes, so uh, I was one of the unifiers of Japan. Yes, 400 years back. So is Nagoya in a uh, particular important position in Japan? Yes, because Nagoya is located right between Tokyo and Osaka. And Tokyo and Osaka used to fight against each other. So you built a castle here. Tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about the castle. What happens in a castle? Okay, so uh, it's really big. And it had to be big because I had to show uh, my power to the people so that I am powerful enough uh, to keep this place into a safer place and then finish the war. So Nagoya has to have the biggest uh, castle. So when you mention people, how many people would be under your rule? Nowadays, 2.2 uh, million people are living around this area. And then back then, mm -hmm. uh, we had only uh, 70,000 people, and, and it was quite a big city already, uh, but uh, it's very small compared to Nagoya nowadays. What happens in the castle? We only do the political actions around this castle. And in addition to the castle, there's mm -hmm. also a palace. Yes. What happens in the palace? Uh, we do political actions in the palace also. Oh, yes? Yes. Where do you live? Do you live in the castle? Do you live in the palace? Okay, so um, we have uh, two palaces 
And then uh, one palace is for the living and one palace is for the uh, political action. Political action. I read that you became the king of Japan. Mm -hmm. Am I correct in that? Yes and no. But <laughs> okay. we have emperor, so I oh, became yes. the president or the prime minister of Japan. And this gentleman over your shoulder, mm -hmm. what is his responsibility other than to carry your helmet? <laughs> huh? Yes, he is, uh, his name is Toma. Toma? Oh. Yes, and then Toma is one of my foot soldiers. Uh, he's always close to me. The sword that you're carrying, can you uh, draw that out? Yes. Is that possible? Uh, it's possible. Could you please uh, take a step back? Yes. yes. When you have your sword straight, you can just hit and cut and it's not strong enough so when you when you have you know curved blade you can push 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 ah. push and cut and then pull 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 and cut so it's not one action yes it's a continuous circular action wow yes that's serious business yes and then you usually have your blood on your blade so you let it go and then try to Whoa, yes. you just spun it around there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, so that uh, your blood, the enemy's blood goes out. And then, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm scared just to hear you say it. The Noritake Company is world famous for its tableware. It's a beautiful example of Japan's dedication to both craftsmanship and art. Today, it not only makes tableware, but its high technology expertise is also used in many industries. The president of Noritake explained the company's evolution. The company Noritake has come a long way from 1904. What was the original company all about? In 1904, we started producing Western-style tableware. That is the origin of Noritake. And at that time, we mostly exported those tableware to the United States. So around the 1930s, the relation between Japan and the United States got uh, more and more tense. And at that time, we had to suspend the production of tableware. And uh, we moved into the field of the producing the grinding wheel, industrial use. The situation was that uh, we were not uh, sort of uh, allowed to produce the products for the private use. So we need to uh, move into the industrial field. So the core business, the core expertise, has driven the company to automotives, uh, to energy, to environment, to laser, vastly different today, huh? After the World War II, uh, we restarted the tableware production in a full rigid manner, and uh, we also the produced the grinding wheel at the, at the same time. And at that time, uh, Japan was in the middle of rapid economic growth, and there was a growing demand for such a grinding wheel for industrial use, and the company grew. In addition, in 1960s and the 70s, the based on the decalcomania technology used for the, the porcelain the production, and the, we started the producing a thick film circuit or other the components and material for the electronic industries and the automobile industries. And uh, also, uh, to produce those tablewares, we use the drying the machines or baking furnaces. And uh, we also continue to produce for those for industrial use. The tableware account for only 10% of our sales, and grinding wheel and precision tools account for 50%, and the ceramic material 25%, and engineering accounting for 12%. But in my heart, I will think of tableware. So all the employees of the companies, they may be involved in the engineering and industrial use products. However, all of us love those tablewares because this is the origin of the company. What's next? In 10 years' time, the important business for us will be the making the material for the fuel cells and the or electronics components material used for the automobiles. Wonderful conversation. 
I thank you so very, very thank much. You. Perfect. Thank you, very much. Yeah. thank you for thank our you. visit today. Thank you. Thank you. Tea and miso are essential to the Japanese diet. Both have also been part of Japanese culture for more than a thousand years. We visited a company that produces the high quality matcha tea, and the president of the company told me about matcha and showed me how to prepare this unique and delicious Japanese tea. So it's been 1,000 years since tea was first imported from China. Tea is very much a part of the culture of Japan. Why is that so? The most important thing is the hospitality. So based on this, the hospitality in mind, the culture of a tea that grew in Japan. And then the motto is the, there may be only one chance to meet somebody. So we will make that opportunity the most important. Also, the culture of tea is closely related to the principle of the Zen Buddhism. And then in order to calm the mind and the nurture the human beings and the Japanese culture and the prosper based on this tea. Are there different kinds of tea? Actually, the original tea trees and tea leaves are basically the same, but only the manufacturing method or growing method of the tea tree is different. What kind of tea is matcha tea? So Japanese invented the totally different method of enjoying green tea. The in case of a green tea, uh, we pour water and we drink the extract of tea leaves. However, in the case of the matcha, uh, we take whole contents of tea leaves. What is additionally unique and special about matcha tea? So, uh, it's not just drinking the extract of the tea leaves, uh, you virtually eat the tea leaves. Therefore, the matcha needs to have a unique, uh, special flavor. So let's talk a little bit about the process, uh, growing, processing, and preparing matcha. April is a very important time, isn't it, for the harvest? The actual harvesting time starts in mid-May. However, if there is any frost in the month of March and April, that will be damaging on tea leaves. So we pay attention to that. So the uh, tea is grown, brought here. How does the process work? First, we remove the vein and the stem and then use the only the soft part of the leaves and then put them in the grinding mill to make a powder. It requires a really, I mean, a high technology, a very sensitive technology and process that in order to make a powder while preserving that sensitive flavor and taste. Now it's powder, so when you say eat the tea, you're eating the powder, huh? Of course, you can eat matcha powder as it is, but it's easier to drink it. What's the benefit of matcha tea? So you vertically consume those green tea leaves, therefore you can also the, obtain the vitamins, antioxidants, minerals, flavonoids and fibers. And in the case of ordinary sencha green tea, you drink just extract. So all those the, uh, good ingredients are actually 70% of them are inside the discarded tea leaves after extraction. And how, therefore, this is the most efficient way of enjoying the tea leaves. And in the case of black tea, the, during the process of fermentation, the vitamin we lost. The Japanese people enjoy the long life. Our average in, in the longevity is uh, quite long. And uh, I, although I do not have uh, evidence, but I think uh, green tea and matcha is really contribute to enhancing the health of Japanese people and to make them live long. 
To learn about miso, we visited a company that's been making hacho miso for more than 1,300 years. The company's president explained the two-year manufacturing process and offered me a chance to try the very flavorful miso. Mm, wonderful. Miso, what is it? Uh, this is a traditional food that made of uh, soybeans in Japan. Does it have a great history? Yes, the miso we create here has more than 400 years of history. It is called hacho miso and it's produced in Okazaki city in Aichi prefecture. In every house in Japan, uh, Will they have miso there? Most of the Japanese household, the, they make a miso soup for the breakfast. What are some other ways that miso can be used? Our hacho miso is, to, is used to flavor the various dishes of meat and fish. So we may not mix miso with the rice directly, but uh, normally we mix it uh, with the meat and the fish dishes. The miso uh, we create here in the Hacho town is really unique because it has a very long maturation period. So the Japanese people appreciate it. So tell me about the process. So what is the basic ingredients of the miso? The miso uses rice and barley as well, but in our case, the ingredients we use is only soybean, water, and salt. We use the soybean as a basic ingredient, but our manufacturing process is really unique. So the, uh, the ingredients are mashed and steamed and put into these huge vats that are around us now. How long will they stay in the barrel? So they must be matured at least for 24 months. These huge barrels that we see in front of us and in back of us and stones piled up, the mixture is going to stay for two years. Why all the stones? Why not just one big stone? Well, uh, actually, it may be easier to use one big stone instead of many small stones, as you mentioned. However, by the piling up those small sized stones on top of it, uh, we can apply the uniform pressure onto the soybean mixture. And uh, there is a good times and a bad times, and uh, they can be matured in the same condition at all times. Are the health benefits to miso? So each type of miso has its own uh, benefits, but uh, let me explain our hacho miso. And as it is made only of the soybeans, so it's uh, full of protein. And uh, after the long maturation, uh, it is in, um, uh, there are lots of amino acids that are available. Our motto in making this hacho miso is not to rush, not to hurry, be patient till when it's ready and it undergoes a long maturation and the fermentation. And we have to be patient, just like General Shogun Tokugawa. His principle is to be patient. Patience is the key. No. Don't rush. Don't, Don't rush. be in a hurry. <laughs> you have enough time. Throughout our visit to Aichi, we were able to see facets of Japanese culture everywhere. Fuel cell cars, castles, tableware, tea, and miso may seem unconnected, yet they all beautifully showcase the country, individually and collectively. So very Japan.
special thanks to the Imperial Hotel in Tokyo and ANA Airlines. For information about This Is America and the World and to watch all of our programs, visit our website, thisisamerica.net, and look for us on Facebook and Twitter. This Is America and the World is brought to you by the National Education Association, the U.S.-China Education Trust, and F.Y. Chang Foundation, guided by Ambassador Julia Chang Block, President. The League of Arab States, representing 350 million people in 22 member countries. Tourism Malaysia. The Petrolin Group, expertise with integrity in the fields of oil and gas, exploration and production, energy and infrastructure. The Rotondaro Family Trust. The Embassy Series, uniting people through musical diplomacy, presenting international artists in diplomatic settings. And Ventana Productions, television facilities, editing and distribution services.